All right, you ready? Okay, so we're starting. <clears throat> Welcome to the Half Hour Happy Hour with Allison and Alex. I'm Alex Albrecht. And I am Allison Hayslip. And for the next 30-ish minutes yeah, ish, or um, so, yeah. Alex and I are going to discuss some like weird, bizarre, and interesting stories that we have found from this past week. And some may say life. And life. Yes. And we'll be drinking while we do it. Cheers. Yes, of course. Cheers. Welcome. Uh, and uh, my buddy Tom Krajewski is, uh, I'm going to say, playing with the knobs, maybe? is the yes. way I'm gonna say I don't it? think yes, you should say that at all. I think that sounds as incredibly inappropriate, and I don't think his Allison wife would appreciate yeah. that. <laughs> yes, no, Jen would not appreciate the playing with the knobs. So hey. yes, uh, Tom. Hi, Tom. Hey, thanks for having me. No problem. Yeah, thanks for wearing the headphones and, and making sure they sound good. And bringing cupcakes. Oh, yeah, he brought cupcakes. Yeah. It was his birthday last week. His manager sent him a dozen cupcakes. Happy and he was birthday. like, yeah. I can't eat a dozen cupcakes. Let me bring them to my friends. So basically, I was trying to make this all about me today. Yeah. <laughs> Your Success. show. Success. Yeah. By the way, I, I, I shot a show this whole week, and we had the best crafty ever I on saw it. the picture of the dragons and donuts. Oh my gosh. But I, for, for people who don't know what crafty is, it's craft services. It's basically like the snack table that's set up in between meals when you're shooting things. And this dude, Nick, who ran crafty, the, we had multiple blocks of cheese. <laughs> I mean, what? like it was so... First off, that's was, the worst thing to feed people if they're going to be on gourmet crafty. And, no. Uh, micro, <laughs> so when I, when I showed up the first day, I was like, okay, Allison, for the next four days, you're allowed to be a glutton. Like, enjoy this. Yeah. I, I'm sure I gained weight. I'm not joking. Like, mm-hmm. by day four, my pants weren't fitting quite right. <laughs> and I was like, okay, after... After we finish filming this, I'm just going to be like healthy for a week or two and like get back in shape. And of course, I show up today and Tom brings fucking cupcakes. Exactly. And wine. And I'm so like, oh well. You <laughs> thought that that was the best crafty you yeah. could have. Sprinkles cupcakes. I know. And a bee on them. Yeah, they were amazing. They were birthday for cupcakes. birthday. The cupcakes. For day. Like I said, are drugged. Oh, good. Oh, sweet. Yeah. I know I'd be, be alone in a room with you this guys. This is going to be an <laughs> awesome. <laughs> yeah, weird as shit. This is going to be an awesome episode. So I did want to talk to you about that because this was for uh, the tabletop uh, RPG show. Yes, Super for Geek Secret. and Sundry. Or not yeah. Super Secret because it's No, it's been announced. Out, but... It got announced this week. Um, yeah, so Will Wheaton, who normally does a tabletop show for Geek and Sundry, this is basically an extended version of tabletop where every episode in this season, and it's going to be 10 episodes, I believe. Did you um, Is all shot? Yeah, we shot oh, the whole wow. thing. Okay. Uh, it's the same people playing one RPG game. <clears throat> Amazing. Um, as opposed to tabletop is normally guests come in. Yeah. Guests coming I in think different I did. games what every did you episode. Play? I, I went in and played Starflux. I I've done it, it so many fun. times. I don't remember. I played well. I played like a Romeo and Juliet type game, and I played oh. like a tortoise and hare type game and i played a panda a game tortoise and hare rpg yeah. I was no like, no no these are all different tabletop games oh, I so i'm saying about. this 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 time around was different because okay. it was just an rpg game uh, and we pay, played gotcha. one campaign so like every gotcha. episode is a different chapter and here's a fun fact yes i had never played a dice-based rpg game prior to this really? week never oh my god i mean i've so obviously like i played a lot of final fantasy growing up so i understand mm-hmm. the concept of like uh uh turn-based rpg yeah yeah things but i've never actually rolled dice and like created a character it's super and that whole fun, thing. Right? And I was stressed going into this because <clears> I <throat> was like Well because because I've never done it, I was like, oh I'm gonna be terrible. <laughs> I'm gonna screw things. I'm not gonna be able to like keep roll up so with the bad. game. <laughs> you know? And it was so fun. Like I yeah. I am addicted now. Like no joke. We we shot for four twelve hours for four days. Holy like 12 geez, hours every day impressive. for four days. Like we lived in this world. And this is it that's the other awesome thing about this. It's an entirely new game. The whole entire world was created. Um, it's a brand new game, and it will be released when the show releases, so people oh, can go out and buy it. Cross promotion. That's yeah. smart. It basically it uses the. This is what I've learned. It uses the age system, AGE system mm-hmm. that Dungeons and not that Dragon Age uses. Okay. Um, and so it's all based on that. The, so it's the not mechanics the are all based mechanic on that. Or whatever it Correct. Is. It's only three D. Interesting. Three D six. I now know what that means. What <laughs> up? Three D six. Nerd tattoos waiting to happen. But seriously, like yesterday, I was I was stopped at a traffic light, to, and I was to ma- I was making a right on red, mm-hmm. and so I'm stopped at the light, and I'm like looking to the left to see when cars are coming. And there's a car coming, and I'm like, oh, my dexterity is totally higher than that guy's. I can go. Like that's how my brain <laughs> thinks. Now. So bad. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah. I blame Will for everything. That's oh my gosh. Your sex Roll life for going initiative. Through the bottom. Every time he said roll for initiative, like, I had nightmares. I was like, oh, oh yeah. my God, I'm going to die. What's going to happen this yeah, time? Yeah, that is, by the way, roll for initiative is the best 
we also for our DM always had, and with that was what he would say at the end. So we'd be like roll and roll our damage, and we'd be in the middle of this fight, and he would go, and with that, and we'd be like, yeah, we kill that. Yeah. Yeah. Roll for initiative is also a little sphincter <sighs> tightening. I I I care. I care a lot about this game. So you enjoyed it. You had, had a good time. So you would say fun. you are a pen and paper p- pan. Yeah. What? I would. I'm a pen and a paper what? pan. A pen and paper pan. She has yeah. a lot to learn. Yes. I know. Yeah. Yeah. It's well, something I, mean, I just made up. It's sort of like a pen and paper fan, but it's four p's or three p's. <laughs> You know, it's a pen if and paper I just pen. make it up, you mean you said it wrong and you're exactly. just committing to it? <laughs> exactly. By the way, that's how everything gets invented. Oh, yeah, totally. If some idiot says something wrong and then just goes, nope, I think that's what it was. That's what I meant to say. And then it catches on. Yeah. That's why language is evolving yep. and alive. There you go. Well, that's awesome. So when do we have a, do they know when it's going to come out? Uh, June, beginning of June. I oh, want to okay. say June 1st or 2nd, but I might be wrong. But it's definitely the beginning of June. Okay. And I'm really, like, if if the audience has even half as much fun watching it as we did making it, it will be a great show. Okay. So you were in there 12 hours a day doing 12 that? 12 hours oh a day. God. Four That's days? That's what I mean. It never felt like 12 hours. Just go. You, like I'd show up like at 9 a.m. and like, yeah, yeah, start yeah. playing. Lose track. Yeah. I mean, day <clears throat> two or day three, I forget which day it was, but like it ended on such a cliffhanger. We were like, no, no, no. We're all like, <laughs> yeah, I'm like the overtime. entire camera. Overtime. Overtime. I'm like, <laughs> we're all staying and keeping play. Like you guys are all for that, right? Like we're so into it. That's fantastic. Yeah, it was great. Did you guys win? I can't tell you. you have to oh, watch right. The show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That that would be That's the a biggest of big the spoilers. Spoiler alert. Yeah. <laughs> Did everybody survive? <laughs> I can't say that because yeah. then everybody would know. People would stop watching. Yeah. All right. I want to talk about some stuff. Okay. Are we okay. actually getting into the show now? Is this a, a little bit? I mean, it's, it's all our first episode. Let's it acknowledge is. that. Yeah, it's a little. It's loosey goosey is what we say. Loosey goosey. Uh, so I read this article. Um, it's about joke stealing. Oh, like on Twitter? Yes. Very important. Specifically on Twitter. Yes. And sort of the concept. Of, now, I had heard, so there was this, I heard, I can't remember if it was like a radio show, like a uh, something, or I read it, but there was this guy who came up with this joke that essentially was, um, oh, yeah, uh, no s- insert girl that I grew up with who ignored me in high school. I will not help you play Farmville. Oh, okay. Like, yeah, fuck yeah, off. Yeah. I'm not going to help you play Farmville. Right? right. That was the joke this guy came up with. And then it just sort of spread across Twitter. I, right? I actually came up with that joke. See, this is the feeling. <laughs> but this is the feeling yeah. that you have, right? So this is actually about um, – this guy wrote this article called The the, the um, Most Plagiarized Joke of All Time. It's going right? to be said no one ever. Well, yeah. yeah. One of those things. No. He, so this is the joke. This is the, <laughs> the joke that started this whole article. I'm and scared that what you're about to say is going to be something that I've actually tweeted. Okay, yeah, go. No. <laughs> this guy even said, yeah. Uh, so those first, first two guys who thought Sp- uh, Superman was a bird or a plane, what were they so excited about? <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Right? <laughs> it's a bird. It is a bird. Who cares? No, no. It's, it's, it's even better. It's a it's plane. It's a plane. <laughs> In the sky? <laughs> what? Mind blown. Kind of okay. world oh, no. Living. It's just super. It's a man flying. That's not as impressive. First off, that's hysterical. Second, <laughs> right. I've never read that anywhere, no. let alone thought that's... up that joke on my own. Yes. So, <laughs> this guy, so essentially this guy was sitting at a like an open mic, a comedy mm-hmm. open mic, right? And he had read this on Twitter before, like, and just sort of hadn't thought about it, just kept it in the back of his mind. Right. So this kid comes up there and does this joke, joke. And he goes, he's just, there's something about it. He was like, wow, that sounds really familiar. But whatever, it's an open mic, you know, yada, yeah. yada, yada. And then he goes home and realizes where it was from, that it was from Twitter. And he was like, well, you know, I mean, it's an open mic in Los right. Angeles. Like, you know, as he said, it's like. There's, you know, six guys trying to do comedy for the first time in their life and then two homeless guys that just don't want to be on the sidewalk. <laughs> like, that's L.A. <laughs> like, open so mics. Open you know mic. what I mean? Yeah, right. Uh, so, so he was like, he didn't think about it. But then he went to, like, a big show and, like, Patton Oswalt was opening there and there was a couple other people. And this guy who's, like, a guy says the same joke. Oh, wow. And he's like, what? So then he comes back and does this, like, researchy thing. Right. So the, the guy basically says, as far as he can see... The joke was first tweeted in 2009. Okay. It was like the first he could find it. Maybe right. it may have been tweeted earlier. And it was just some guy. And he said, speaking of Superman, why do the people in Metropolis get excited if they really thought they saw a bird or a plane? <laughs> right. Essentially <laughs> the same. So funny. That's sort of the beginning. <laughs> I know, right? It's like, yeah. and it's hard. It's hysterical. Well, then in, uh, so between 2009 and 2010, not many people tweeted. It just sort of was a thing that this one guy did. Yeah. Right. Then in 2000. 
10 in June, um, this chick who has like 38,000 followers wrote, those first two guys who thought the Superman was a bird or a plane, what the fuck were they so excited about? Mm. Right. And that starts this whole slew of people. Then they change, the joke becomes all changed, but the whole concept is, um, why is it that people on Twitter specifically can see something that they find really funny and feel completely comfortable just rewriting it as if they yeah. thought of it. I like, I would never think to do that. No. And I get accidentally, like, oh, yeah. I think I came up with a great joke, and yeah, you really heard it six months ago, but that's not you what's know happening. What, you know what happened to me once? I tweeted something. I, I This was legitimately something that just happened to pop into my head, and I didn't mm-hmm. even mean it as a joke. It was more of, like, a thought. I was, that hunger, Temple of the Dog hunger strike, song came on remember it's like oh, yeah. Eddie Vedder and and uh yeah. and Scott Weiland is that the other person who sings in it I think it yeah. is. is it yeah from Stone Temple Pilots I think I, don't know music. I think I yeah. I could be wrong I or admitting... is it the guy from Soundgarden oh it's the guy, from, a Sound guy from Soundgarden yeah, that's yeah, yeah. it so it's Eddie Vedder and the guy from Soundgarden yep and they Bill sing that Soundgarden. song <laughs> and and you know the song it's like the one guy goes I'm going hungry and the other guy guy goes I'm going hungry mm-hmm. yeah, and I realized like guy, I singing it I was like, man, there are two types of people in this world. People who sing the Eddie Vedder side and people who sing the Soundgarden guy side. And I tweeted that. Amazing. Right. Very clever. But it was, well, clever, but also was like legitimately a thought. Like, there, yeah. you know, you people choose one or the other. No one flips back and forth. Yeah. Right. People commit to which part yeah. they're going to sing. And someone tweeted me back. Uh, that was a... Oh God, I forget her name. I follow her on. Twitter. You stole that from oh, like somebody. Sarah Silverman. Uh, or... A Jenny, Jenny, someone. She's she's a TV writer. I I completely forget. I'm spacing her name. Whatever. Okay. Jenny something TV writer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But someone was like, "That's a, a Jenny joke," and I was like, "Oh my God!" And I felt like a dick because, like, I yeah. legitimately, I actually f- do follow this woman on Twitter because I think she's hysterical. So you think maybe you had got no, some no, no. Or... I don't think I did at all. I think this was a legitimate yeah. thought I had, but. It's completely possible yeah. that someone else had that same thought and tweeted about it and just happened to tweet about it before me. And I was like panicked that I had stolen, yeah. quote unquote, someone's joke. Well, and I think that that's and part so, of it is that yeah. there is this sort of like zeitgeist thing yeah. where you're like, like everybody's I, kind of came I bet up this with the girl idea. who tweeted it in June of 2010 <clears throat> didn't read the original tweet back in 2009. I bet she actually had the same thought. It's just that it picked up more on hers. I, I find myself stealing accidentally from people because uh, I write cartoons for a living, and I'll be like, wait, didn't The Simpsons do that? Well, that's every joke ever but, made. Like, Simpsons, Futurama, anything. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, yeah. oh my gosh, because I, I that's my biggest influences, and I don't realize, you know. Well, that's that the thing where you go, am I being influenced by this stuff? I mean, it's the other <laughs> thing of, like, there's no, never a new song. Like, Heather goes right. through this when she's writing right. songs. She's writing a song, and she's like, fuck, did I just... Does this sound too much like this, or am I just writing? Do I think this is cool because I like that song? You know what I mean? And like, there's so many sh- now; it's going crazy with like all the blurred the different- lines thing. Yeah, the, the blurred lines the, thing. Oh, Je- the- okay, Jenny Johnson is who I. Okay. Jenny okay. Johnson high five is her her Twitter account. Oh, she's I was hysterical. like, that was the joke was the high and, five. And uh, no, 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 that's her Twitter handle. <laughs> so and the she's funny hysterical, stories. and I highly recommend following her. So the other thing that, but was I actually- promise I didn't steal her joke on purpose. <laughs> totally. But then it becomes, and it's a lot. I mean, it gets a little crazy because when you search for those exact phrases, and over the course of like three months, there's five hundred different tweets. Right. Like, there are definitely a lot of people out there that are reading it and going, "That's funny. I'm going to tweet that." You just hit retweet. That's the other just thing. Just retweet it. That's why we have a retweet it's, button. But it's right. even worse, which is funny, which is, so Dana Gould, who came on Four Points oh, back yeah. in the day. Who wrote on the Simpsons. He, who, oh, who Simpsons guy. Yeah. <laughs> Speak of the devil. <laughs> uh, he actually tweeted this joke for the first two guys who thought the bird yeah. were playing, why the hell are they so excited, in quotes, and then in, like, hyphen, not mine, saw it on Tumblr, right? Oh. So he's going, this is a good joke, I just thought I'd give it to my yeah. people. He was then, somebody tweeted about it again and said, why are these two guys who thought Superman was a bird or a plane so excited and quoted Dana Gould? Oh, my God! So it was like, even wow. him trying to give credit, even though he didn't yeah. know what it was yeah. from, he couldn't get away from people being like, that guy's so funny. It was right. like, I didn't, I just told you it wasn't me. Just hit retweet, oh people. God. I know, retweet. Why is that such I a I think we thing? need to get that on a shirt. Just mm-hmm. hit just retweet. retweet. Oh. Well, I will tell you, I, there is a reason why I don't retweet very often. Oh. Yes. Which is, the, Twitter doesn't make it very good, easy. What do you- So I have the tweet- I'm sorry. I have the Twitter You literally app. just hit retweet. <laughs> no, but I want to be able to put- This is Alex. Though. Like, Come I want to be able to say something. First off, f- people out there in the world, if you're right, and I tell this to Heather all the time, if you're going to write something on Twitter, 
yes, you have 140 characters to work with, but yeah. if you want people to retweet your shit, make it about 100. Make it 100. Yeah. If you could, you know what I mean? Like, give the people who are going to retweet, treat, retweet you. But that's not retweeting. I mean, it is retweeting. Quote tweeting. But that's quote, yeah. yeah but that's the whole thing. I don't want to just spam no, retweet. No, here's, here's your solution. Go like, here's your solution. Or you Spanish, you hit like, retweet, <laughs> and yes. then you write a tweet saying, that pr- that tweet that I just retweeted, blah, 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 blah. God. Oh, yeah. I yeah. Know, but, that just, but, that, but then you get into Twitter. People... Nobody's reading two tweets of mine in a row. No, that like, no, 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 because like, bah, that's the thing. They won't if you retweet it. It doesn't look like your tweet. It comes up as that person's tweet, and ah. then they see your tweet saying, "Hey, the thing I just retweeted," and they go, "Oh, what did he just retweet?" And they go back and read it. Yeah, it still seems like a lot of work. Yeah, but it, you know, I mean, but fuck it's just social those... media for making things so difficult. Yeah, no shit. <laughs> I want to. I want to connect with a random large amount of people that don't know me. Why aren't you making this easier? Uh, but it goes back to this thing of I really think people, especially in the sort of world that we live, this internet world, are perfectly fine being like, "I'm just, oh, that's funny. I'll just say it." Yeah, and not have any know. feeling of well, because not ownership. I- I'm gonna say that has a lot to do with the fact that those people don't work in the entertainment industry or quite know. Like, for those of us who do work yeah. in the entertainment industry, we we have a. There, there's a pride to our material and to our artistry and that kind oh, yeah. of thing, like because yeah. it's our jobs. Other people who don't work in this industry don't know how important to that is, or may not know who, how yeah, important like, that is. It's funny, but nobody really cares who said it first yes, because exactly. it's just a funny thing. Exactly. And like, so I think it's more. I spent six hours on the toilet trying to come up with that funny thing. <laughs> that sounds like you have yeah, other ne- problems never, that you need yeah. to take care of, Alex. The six-hour toilet <laughs> before, sessions are very far. Before few and far you figure between. out how to retweet things, but the material you come up with is pretty. <laughs> thank good. you. Yeah. So thank you. Worth it. Yeah, I should be probably Googling, why am I on the toilet for six hours? Yes. <laughs> WebMD will be like, you're dying. Yeah. <laughs> that would be amazing. Someone, okay, here's a good yeah, tweet. Somebody that hack I just WebMD read. and no, just have someone, all the answers be, you're dying. I apologize that I cannot give this person credit because I don't remember who tweeted it. But, <laughs> some, but I, I am fully admitting that this is not my material. <laughs> okay. But someone was like, someone was like, like, Hit elbow. Check Web M- WebMD. WebMD. Elbow cancer. Like, <laughs> yeah. Like, Dad, you can. Yeah. WebMD always says the thing that hurts cancer. Like yes. that is li- because they have to say You're this dying. is the problem. They have to say it could be all of these horrible things. It could be you know yes. Legionnaire's disease. What it really should every every uh, entry should just say go see a doctor. <laughs> Every entry. That would be Sore amazing. throat, go see, go see a doctor. Stub toe, go see a doctor. Do not hold us responsible for anything. Just go I'm see a doctor. I'm sort of surprised doctor. WebMD hasn't been fucking sued, sued, like big time sued. They probably have crazy. Oh, yeah. 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 I, just a quick story. I, I got mono back when I was like 18. Yeah, and yeah. I didn't know what it was the at first. The kissing disease. The kissing disease. I, so I looked it up online on WebMD. And Wait, said, I'm oh. sorry. Online didn't exist when you were 18. Oh, you know, it was probably a, a, a WebMD disc or I don't know, something <laughs> like that. <laughs> Oh, this is back in disc. no. I was I had my Encyclopedia 95? Britannica on no, there was still, the internet was still making terrible noises. Okay, back so then. maybe it wasn't the internet. <laughs> well, so let's we had say like a Family was... Doctor DVD, uh, Family CD. First off, I thing. want that Family Doctor CD, <laughs> the CD ROM. I get it. From... But I looked it up and like because oh, I was like, what is this? It was, I think it was definitely like a CD ROM yeah. program. And it's like, oh, you either have mono. Or HIV. <laughs> oh, my oh! gosh. Because <laughs> the, the symptoms are the same. Well, yeah, that makes what? sense because mono is technically like it's it's an immune, immune deficiency. Yeah, it's an autoimmune deficiency thing. So wow. Like, wow. That's that's good to find out. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. I got mono in college because I made Dad, out with you. a lot of boys. Yeah, no, um, <laughs> Actually, weirdly enough, that was a period of my life when I wasn't making out with anyone. Most whatever. girls. Just chicks. Uh, <laughs> Go on. <laughs> Go on. I was so I sick. I think our listenership like, just went up. So, yes. <laughs> went from zero to two. Yeah. <laughs> um, like, so, like, could not get out of bed, like, dying, and finally, like, mm-hmm. missing classes. Finally dragged myself to the infirmary um, in a snowstorm because I went to school in Boston. So it was, oh. Oh, it was snowing in April. Um and, like, I get there, and they're like, you might have mono. So they, like, take my blood, and I, I just don't do well with blood tests. Like, I freak out. Oh, you're not um, a needle person? Oh, no, not at all. Um, so I get my blood drawn by, of course, a super cute nursing <clears throat> student. 
Like wow, you were uh, in a lesbian phase. No, the, he was a dude. Oh, got it. He was a, <laughs> <laughs> right. But he was like I was so. Like, this story is getting interesting. <laughs> he was so hot, and and I'm like sick and haven't showered, and I'm dying, and he's taking my blood, and I'm crying and freaking out. I'm like, this is the worst thing ever. And they get my results, and they're like, you're not, you don't have mono. We don't know what's wrong with you. You're just sick. I was like four days later, I was still so sick. I drove myself home to New Jersey, like dying on the drive home in a snowstorm, driving six hours back to my parents' place. The next day, they take me to our family doctor. He does all these tests, and he's like, yeah, you have mono, and you've had it for at least three weeks. And I'm oh, like, wow. the, what? The cute doctor was in denial because he's like, I, I want to make out. Yeah, he was, was like, like what no, you don't have mono? <laughs> Let's go make out. I know. <laughs> it's horrible. Oh, man. It was the worst. Oh, yeah, I'm glad I've not had mono. The worst thing that I had when I was a kid was something called uh, the devil's grip. What? Yeah, it's called show him, show him. Coxsackie B. Coxsackie? Coxsackie B. Oh, that's a strep thing, isn't No, it's it? a, it's a uh, viral infection of the lining of your heart. Oh, God, that sounds serious, <clears throat> yeah. Alex. You know, it wasn't as... A broken heart. I mean, it was literally a broken heart. The it was more of a sore heart, heart because of my my first love left me, Aww. and I had sore heart syndrome. No, uh, no, it was fucking weird. I was like 12. I was out playing in the yard because that was a thing you did when you were 12. Yeah. Uh, and you're like, my heart. <laughs> I, I started hyperventilating, and every time oh. I, bre- I, I would breathe in... My chest would just, it felt like someone was squeezing my heart. The devil. It would, that's why they the call devil it the devil's was gripping grip. your heart. Because it feels like somebody has your hand Sinner. around your heart, and every time Ugh. you breathe in, they squeeze. Sinner. And it was also because of all that gay porn I was, I was looking at. Uh, Accidentally, of course. Never happened to I me. Totally, but still, <laughs> I don't know how you were, that was an accident because the internet didn't exist back then. So you had to purposely go out and I, buy I it. I think we're really old. With gay porn. <laughs> I know. Like, you you're just older than me. I had me. stone tablets here's that the, had uh, Here's the deal. The internet, the internet barely existed when I was a kid. So it must not have existed oh, when dude. you guys were a kid. For me, it was like Prodigy was the big internet of the yeah. I was like the band? No, were well, you like before my day. you would like, like dial in. It was basically all like BBSs. Like that was me in the day. Mm. Like I had a modem, would dial in to be oh, in the uh, war games modem with the uh... Yep. Nah, not that old. I oh, had an oh. actual like physical modem. Yeah. But it did do that. Yeah. Uh all right, anyway, so that's some uh, So that's moral of the story is stop Stealing jokes on Twitter, retweet that shit. Yes. And stop kissing people cuz you can get mono. Yeah. You can get mono and other things. Uh, uh, sometimes a razor your your office. Anyway, uh, <laughs> it's horrible. Sometimes a razor your office. <laughs> it was, it was, it was I a long. I didn't get that. Okay, one. so <laughs> next story. Moving on. So uh, I was sort of interested that this came out of uh, the New York Times. So this Ooh. is a New York Times. I do article. their crossword puzzle every day, Very except nice. Saturday because fuck that shit. It's hard. Yeah, that's when they're like, <laughs> that's the that's a professional day. Yeah, uh, that's for people with no lives. <laughs> yeah. so I apologize because honestly, if you can do the Saturday. New York Times crossword puzzle, you're a goddamn genius, and I want to know you. Yes. Yeah. I'm sure you'll get some emails. Yeah, please. Or tweets. Uh, so the story is, wa- uh, should grown men use emoji? Oh. Right. I honestly thought you were going to be like, should grown men shave their pubic hair or something like that? I'm like, where is this going? They should, right? Yes. I, I believe so, because they're grown. <laughs> yeah. So you can do it without fear of cutting your penis off. <laughs> Uh, but, but anyway, yes, yeah, so should grown men use emoji? And I thought this was interesting because... I literally only use emoji when I'm texting with my wife, and very rarely, but she uses it all the time, and I've even gotten, um, I've gotten shit from friends of mine, guy friends of mine, for using the smiley face, the like colon with the thing, they're like, what, you use that so much, and I'm like, that's so bad, like. I'm look, here, look how happy I am about that statement I just said. I, <laughs> like, that's why like I you're use too it. Proud. Yeah. I think I also use exclamation points way too much. Oh yeah, you do use a lot of exclamation. You also use the word ping far too much. It drives me crazy. I, which is weird because I sort of it's come, <laughs> fell out of rotation. Oh, but there you, you go. Just reminded me. Yeah. So please don't I'll, ever I'll say you're thanks. gonna ping. No ping. <laughs> no pinging. Um, I believe as a woman, if yes. I'm receiving texts from a man, yes. And it has like dancing man poop. No. Oh. Man. I believe I believe smiley face, <laughs> winky face, yeah. sad face, mm-hmm. and like thumbs up or thumbs down is okay as right. long as they're not used excessively. I'm not like the dancing girl. No, fuck. The, I don't even want girls to send me that shit. I hate emojis. I, like you don't like if somebody says like a little thing. Like, I mean, I only like it if it's right done as a like a dog and a poop. No. <laughs> and it's like I gotta take the dog out. No. That's so. Concise. I hate that. <laughs> okay. I hate it. Just tell me you'll be right back. I don't need to know why. Okay. You know, I, I only like it when it's used as like a, a joke or like something funny. But what if it was like flirty? What if it was like a guy that was like. No. 
Oh, okay. N- guys, guys, no. Women, uh, well, maybe. This is, this is literally Women, the Women, maybe. Guys, no. You get smiley face, winky face, sad face, thumbs up, thumbs down. That's all I want from you guys. Unless you're playing that awesome game where you, like, recreate a movie and emojis and you want me to guess it. Then all, then I'm totally fucking I in. I don't know that game. I want oh, my God. I know. That game is awesome. Start playing that right you, now. You literally, like, pull out emojis and it's like, guess this movie. And you're like, the Godfather, because it's like a horse's head and a bed, you know? Like, that kind of thing. Brilliant. Yes. Brilliant. I then it's okay game. to use emojis. Yeah. Don't don't. I, it drives me crazy when people are like. <clears throat> well, now let me ask you this because yeah. you are a uh, an Android person. Oh, and that's the other thing. Yeah. Is it cross? Does it? How does it? It doesn't cross? always work. Yeah. That I, and now there's Facebook Messenger getting into it with the right. weird stamps. Oh, thing. don't even get me started on Facebook Messenger. You're not a fan. I'm uh, guessing. People, when people message me on Facebook, I will literally either ignore them, or if I have to respond to it, I'll be like. Email me this. Here's my email address. Interesting. Fuck this shit. Yeah. I feel the same way about yeah. in- evites, like I- invites no, to, I'm o- to I'm events. No, I'm okay with evites. No, no, not evites. Oh. E- email, like oh. invites to events that only occur on Facebook. On Facebook, yeah. And then you're like- I won't go. I didn't, well, sometimes I don't even see them because yeah, exactly. I don't go to Facebook every day. So it's like, oh, I missed so-and-so's birthday party. And I was like, I was never fucking invited to so-and-so's birthday party. Mm-hmm. Oh, you were. It was just a Facebook invite thing it's as if it doesn't exist nope you have my that. phone number my address yes. my email addresses and there are things like evite or yeah. paperless post do it that way yeah it's very easy yeah i totally agree i, I don't get invited to anything well, i know that's it's probably all in your facebook time yeah yeah <laughs> tom if you logged into facebook yeah i know your wife d- like does not use facebook but she does what i do which is she has twitter connected yeah. to facebook so if you're friends with her on Facebook, you can see her updating stuff, but she's never going to see no. the She even said, she was like, I'm never seeing the comments and all Seriously, that stuff. Seriously. It's just let other people use the it. Only, the only reason I still have Facebook <clears throat> is so if I need to get in touch with like friends from high school whose yeah. info I don't have, I can. That's really the only reason I still have an account. The only thing I post on Facebook is like, Oh, hey, I'm going to be on this upcoming episode of Bones. Watch it. Like, yeah, yeah. That's seriously the only shit that I post on Facebook. Well, and Facebook, to be honest, that you and me and potentially Tom, I don't know his Facebook yeah. personas, uh, but we are the people that Facebook fears the most, which are people that read Facebook but do not post on Facebook. Oh. Because if enough people convert to our style right. of enjoying Facebook, Facebook dies right. because Facebook doesn't make any content. Right? right, so it's like if everybody stops right. posting on Facebook and just reading Facebook to see what their friends are up to, yeah. Facebook's going to die. So we are the thing that Facebook fears the most. Ha ha ha, uh, Mark Zuckerberg! We're getting back at you. Yes, we have the power. But so back to emoji. Back so to you, so uh, the Android phone. Yeah. So vis a vis the iPhone. I will, when iPhone people will tweet Send me emojis, emojis, I won't always get them. Sometimes they show up as just like blank boxes, yeah. or sometimes Same. they it like converts it into different emojis. So there was this one time that I was playing the movie game with a friend who has an iPhone, yeah. and he sent me a bunch of emojis, and I was like, I have no idea what this is. I was like, the girl next door, blah blah blah. He's like, uh, what? The girl next door? Because that has to be some esoteric no, emojis. No, because what to get I you got to the girl next door. No joke. What I got was like a Playboy bunny. Okay. It was like a girl with bunny ears on her head and then like a red t-shirt and something else. And that's why I was like, I don't understand. And what he had actually sent me was totally different. My phone just converted it into the closest emojis it could possibly have. Ah. So sometimes I get sent emojis and I'm like, I don't think the person meant this, but that's how it's showing up on my phone. Interesting. Yeah. Or sometimes I literally just get a blank box. It's like a hollow box box wow. a square it's literally a and i know that message. the person sent me an emoji and i just ignore it because i'm mm. like i don't even know what it was they could have just sent me a pile of shit and i'm just going to ignore it i don't understand <laughs> although if it was a pile of shit you should probably ignore it anyway yeah because it's like why are you just texting me <laughs> a pile of shit or like poop with two Playing eyes hard yeah. to get it's like here's shit <laughs> yeah like, every, I want some shit. <laughs> every once in a while i will use the heart emoji just ah. to like be like i heart you or something like that that to me is okay so heart can yeah. go into your I, thumbs up, thumbs here's down. Here's the thing. I don't think emojis should be used in replace of words is really the biggest yeah. thing. And that's sort of what this article, this they, uh, this Columbia University linguist was sort of like, men, you, you, you need to use your words, but also women are more emotionally expressive in their words. Yeah. So, mm-hmm. so and, and because of that, emojis sort of translate the emotion of your intention, yeah. whereas guys are just like, for my place? You know yeah. what I mean? Like, that, that's the text <laughs> that I would get. You know right. what I mean? And then accidentally say I love you when I'm hanging up because I'm just sort of not really thinking about it. <laughs> so you didn't mean it when you said it. No, I meant it for, uh, with you, Tom. I meant, totally meant that's it. That's how we got you here. Yeah. But yeah, that literally, I cannot tell you, that happens at least once a year. 
I'm on the phone with a buddy of mine. I'm like, yeah, anyway. All right, cool, dude. Love you. I mean, I, uh, click. Well, see, I get a, I can get away with it with my buddies because I'm a girl. I can say, uh, of course. I love you. But it's worse when it's like you're hanging up with, you know, the your your customer service person at Verizon. You're like, yeah. cool, thank you so much, love you. I mean, uh. yeah. Although it's also really funny when you catch that one dude who's like, yeah. When you're like, I do love you. He's like, yeah, man, love you too, buddy. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Would you? Yeah, let's just talk later. Yeah. All right, love you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Day. Yeah, made his day. I was like, damn, all right. I got to remember to do that more often. <laughs> uh, all right, so grown men emojis. No. Uh, not. Unless it's for game purposes. Not so Playing much. games. Yeah. Wait, not, Which... I mean, like, not emotional games. Like, actual. <laughs> emotional. I'm just going to hey, play man, some emotional just don't play games emotional games with, games with us, okay? Heart, make... poop, heart. Yeah. What does that mean? <laughs> what movie, movie is that? <laughs> yeah. Romeo and Juliet. <laughs> heart, poop, heart. Uh, all right. So uh, this kind of speaks into our mono conversation. Uh, this oh, article, great. why do so many young people in Latin America hook up in parks? Wait, what? Yeah, why this is, is this like, even a topic of conversation? <laughs> this is rampant in Latin America, right? You go into any park and, and there's, there's, just there's kids. people having sex in parks, so they're just like making out. They didn't out. go so far as to say sex. Hooking up has a lot yeah. of variations. Yeah. So. Yes, there's a lot of gray area, especially yeah. in Latin American countries. Uh, but they've actually, it's, and the, the reason why they realized is because A, the housing is more um, compact, right? So a lot of times these kids live with their families and they're sort of underfoot yeah. because there's not as much space in the, yeah. in the people's houses. But also th- most of them are growing up in strict Catholic mm. upbringings. Oh, yeah. And so their parents are very much like, don't bring boys home at all. So they're just like, fuck it, we'll go to parks. But the weird thing is they don't want to make out with people at home. like So they go out in public and yeah. make out. And it is like – it's to the point where like um, – uh, uh, Oaxaca uh, actually passed an ordinance limiting the type of PDA you can do in parks. Oh, wow. And there was such an uproar <laughs> that two days later they suspended the law. Oh, my god! Yeah, gosh. they were like, oh, sorry, our bad. You can go back to feeling up your friend. Well, it is a very Done. positive thing. It's not like it's, I mean, it is true. It's not like, you know, don't I mean, I guess, each other I guess yeah, it's exactly. interesting because, like, if, if everyone is is hooking up in a then, park, what are your parents going to do? Walk around the park and, like, look at every yeah, exactly. couple uncomfortably to <laughs> find your and kid? And which park? You don't know a park. Yeah. And by the way, you're probably not going to the park really close to your house. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, you're going to the farthest park that you can find and in a corner. But the guy who's writing the article was like, I'm currently sitting at a park. Yeah. There are four benches. Three of them have couples that are making out vigorously. Wow. The other one is me, and there is a couple next to me on the grass waiting for me to leave so they can sit on the bench and make out with each other. Why can't they make out on the grass? They are making out on the grass. Uh, It's just like they're uncomfortable and sort of like, what the fuck is this guy just sitting on his laptop? Why did this guy write this story? You sound creepy. Like, why are you sitting in parks watching teenagers make out? I, you know, maybe it just came from, he was like, I want to go to a park. Yeah. Wow, there's a lot of people making out. I'll go to another park. Ooh, more people making out. <laughs> this seems to, to be a trend. Yeah. Wow, a, a law tried to get passed to suspend this, and then it, it I just love that they said it, it, it made certain forms of PDA illegal. Like, don't have sex in a park. I mean, theoretically, that is a public display of affection. There yeah. are these hotels. I think they're in Japan. Uh, so, like you were saying, in Latin America, all the houses are really close together, and there's like lack of privacy. In yeah. Japan, they have these hotels specifically for you to go and do that because you can't, like, even married couples who don't want to be doing it right next to their neighbors and have their neighbors hear it, they go to the specific hotel. Oh, I mean, Sound we have those hotel rooms. twos, but they're just for affairs. Ah. So I should start using hotels. <laughs> yeah, it's like park why, the public parks were such a I horrible mean, come on, idea. That's, you know, in, in well, but Japan in twelve that. monkeys. They they. Get the they rent a you know the motel the sleazy motel room for like an hour and then he calls the pimp and he's like what is this whore doing who's not on my watch and then you know, no 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 one no one watched Twelve uh, Monkeys was this the movie the, or the, the movie oh. I just I just recently watched it because I kind of forgot what Twelve Monkeys I mean I remembered what Twelve Monkeys was about but I couldn't remember what the fuck happened in it so I rewatched it's it. It's a little bit like saying do you remember what happened in Brazil? It's no like, <laughs> no I just remember it was awesome same yeah guys, yeah right, same Joey guy Gilliam. exactly yeah. like. It's one of those things where, like, Twelve Monkeys is like it has to do with going back. You're in right. The past, Actually, I think all of his movies there. that I've seen, I can like. Oh yeah. I, the Imaginarium of Doctor Parnassus or whatever mm. that was. Oh, yeah. I know I saw it. 
I don't remember yeah. what happened in it. It had to do with a magic toy shop, I think, or something. I turned it off. And the guy. Yeah, I saw it on a plane. Dear Sweet Heath Ledger died during the filming, so they just made the character switch actors oh, four yeah, times throughout the right. movie. Oh, yeah, that's right. I forgot about that. That was yeah. the imaginary Which makes Dr. so much sense when you watch the movie that you're like, I don't understand what this movie would have been like Without had it only been actors. one actor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, no. What was the other one? Wasn't he Fisher King? Did he do the Fisher King? No, I don't think. Wait, did Terry? I Gilliam never saw that. I don't remember. But Baron Munchausen. Inter- internet. <laughs> By the way, Albrecht. Albrecht. One of the characters. Here, wait. I have, I have IMDb on my phone, Alex. I'll look it up. IMDb. Oh. Did you get it? Uh, yeah. Oh. Man, internet. Fisher King. Was that Fisher King? King. Yeah, it probably was. I don't know. It might have been. Maybe just, I never saw the Fisher, Fisher King. King. Me neither. Uh, TV show? Wait, I, can't, we can't talk about it, Allison. No. Seen um, Terry, uh, Gilliam. Terry Gilliam. Bam. Yeah, Terry Gilliam. So. That, that's what I said. That's so. <laughs> yeah, no. Fisher King is is really. It's actually a great movie if you guys haven't seen it. All right. But it's sort of that same thing where you're like, it's about a guy who's kind of crazy and and, some and crazy there's sort of like Don Quixote esque yeah. moments in it. It's very much. But anyway, so back to kissing out in public. Yes. I kind of feel like it's sort of like who gives a crap. But then again, I've not experienced it, right? So I don't right. know if it's like going to a restaurant and it's like all children yeah. and you're sort of like i mean i don't have a problem with kids being in restaurants but if it was all children in the restaurant i'd probably leave right because that would be annoying you know we want I mean? our parks back <laughs> exactly We're doing park like i, I want to play soccer i don't want to see latin american kids making out although it sounds Are they just now you're racist out? like you said they had to put limitations well, on that's what the they thing could do. we don't know but like why say. would you want to be so i guess they're very uh liberal and they don't mind showing themselves off in but then the weird well, thing is I'm thinking... you're doing it to avoid their parents knowing that they're doing <laughs> well, it let's like... do it in front of everybody yeah <laughs> but that's what i'm saying when you do when a lot of people are doing it in front of everybody it's almost anonymous yeah right everything's yeah. orange you know so like Nothing who's looking orange. yeah no one's figuring out who you are because if you're sort of surrounded by it you're it's too the mob mentality yeah. of making out and i'm gonna guess that these kids aren't getting naked but there's ways to get around not getting naked explain like skirts personal experience <laughs> like skirts. go ahead skirts. allison <laughs> Yeah. Hey man, I, I've been a fan of skirts for so many reasons. So next time I should wear a yeah. skirt when I, yeah, with the kilt back on, <laughs> that'd be good. <laughs> I didn't like that. Oh uh, lord. Uh, anyway, so that was that was good. The uh, the last thing I want to talk about, which I'm, it's one of those things. I just kind of feel the need to talk about it. Yeah, do it. You are an Android person, so I'm assuming I know what how you're going to experience this. Oh, okay. But the Apple Watch. Okay. I am so on the fence of whether this is I, the thing to be most excited about or the thing to be the least excited the about. The thing that blew my mind when they announced the Apple Watch is that you could get a version for like $10,000. And I'm like, that is as fucking high as 17. insane. As high as 17 But then I thought, men <clears throat> actually spend this much money on watches. So well, having yes. a watch that does way more than just tell time for $17,000 seems... And by the Far way, more economically sane than just having a watch is way low end of yes, high end watches. I mean, exactly. some of them are like one hundred and twenty five thousand dollars for a watch. Right. right, right I'm not right. wearing any of those. But that being said, I don't need to have a watch that lets me answer my phone or lets me search the Internet. But think about this. So so I, my friend Meg uh, works at uh, YouTube. OK. And because it's Google, right, they, yeah. they are given a work phone, and the work phone is an Android. And they're given a and she's a big Apple person. She used to work at Apple, you know. Right. Uh and so, but they also gave her a Samsung um, wearable watch. I can't remember what they're called, Samsung Gear or something I don't like know. that. Anyway, it's basically this, the Android version of the Apple Watch, right? right? And uh, when I first saw her and she had, I got it, I mean, it was sort of like, I got this thing, I might as well wear it. I don't really have a watch, so I'll just wear it. But she was like, not using it, just like, whatever. Right. It's, it's a watch. I'm using it as a watch. The, I literally saw her six months later, and she was like, I am in love with my watch. Really? Yeah, and she was constantly like, whenever it would be like lull in the conversation, or somebody would be like, "Oh, I gotta check an email or check something," you know what I mean? She would just go like this, huh? And it was like that was her checking her texts. Yeah, you know what I mean? And like, I, and when somebody would call, like her phone would ring. So like, if I'm out to dinner and my phone rings, I have to kind of dig through my pocket. And nine times out of ten, especially if I'm out to dinner, it's not somebody I'm gonna go. Oh, I gotta take this. Right, 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 right. But I do want to see who it is and I want to stop it from vibrating because it's kind of weird you know what I mean but to be able to be in the middle of a conversation and go oh hold on yeah oh so and so called it's more efficient I guess yeah but is it going to become something where people are talking and then doing this 
Yes, that's exactly what it's going to become. And for those of and you by the at way, home yeah, I was just about to say, who that can't see what Alex code. is doing, it means having a conversation and then <laughs> silently looking down at your wrist constantly. Yeah. I, here's the deal. When the iPad first came out, yep. I was very much like, why would I need this? I have my phone mm-hmm. and I have a laptop. Yep. I don't need the thing in between. Yeah. And now I can't live without my damn iPad. So... Uh. Just because I feel this way about the watch at this moment where I'm like, why would I need this? I'm sure in a year I'm going to be like, I don't understand how I lived without the watch. So now, have you always been an Android person? Yes, because I'm on Verizon and I've been Uh, on Verizon since I was like 15 and the iPhone didn't come out on Verizon at first. Right. So my first smartphone was a droid of some Of some capacity. And then I've just, then, then I was part of this thing where they actually kept giving me free droid phones oh, that's cool. so i was like why pay for an iphone when i get free smartphones yeah um and and now it's at the point where i it just wouldn't make any sense for me to switch to an iphone because i would have to rebuy all of my apps oh i didn't even think about that yeah as soon as i say that it's to like people $10 they're like right oh. <laughs> yeah. oh that's a lot more and like I can't. I would have to like download my pictures to my computer and then upload them onto my phone. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. Like, there's that, that transition is not. They make it's it not possible. pleasant. Yeah, yeah. So I, there's just <clears throat> no reason for me to switch to an iPhone. The only reason would be so my friends stop bitching about me because my text messages show up as green instead of blue in their phone. Oh. I will say people get dude. really upset with me because of that. I can, I can understand that. We're like, hey, dude, it's the 21st century. Yeah, my buddy, <laughs> get iMessage. My my buddy Rob like lives in a location where he just doesn't get a lot of cell phone service, oh. and he's like, I can't text you. Perfect. Yeah, I just use WhatsApp. I send him yeah. WhatsApp messages, and he's like, you found a loophole. And I'm like, yeah. whatever, it still works. What's up? Which, by the way, will soon, I'm sure, become Facebook Messenger. So buckle up and learn to love Are you Facebook serious? Messenger. Are they about- yeah, they own it. Oh, WhatsApp. They bought it. They bought WhatsApp and then came out. I still with have Facebook Viber. Messenger. I still have Viber. That's amazing. Is that something? Is that curable? It's WhatsApp. What is it's that? just a different. <laughs> Check. I'll get yeah. you my CD-ROM. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's, it's another thing. Dem- you know, it's another CD-ROM. thing like WhatsApp. It's the same thing. Yeah, we use Voxer. I used Voxer oh, yeah, yeah, for yeah. pre-production on a or production on a short yeah. film that I did, and everybody was like, "Get on Voxer." I mean, it was cool because it's sort of like a walkie-talkie almost. We can be like, oh, "Hey, that's cool. where the hell is the blah blah blah?" Bloop. And they're like, "Blah blah." And you can also start hearing people as they're recording. So they can literally be talking to you. And then you can either, if you're listening, like if you have the app open while they're talking, yeah. you just hear the stream of consciousness. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah. And then if they, if you don't have it open when you open it, you hear the stream of consciousness. But you can actually be like listening and then like, oh, yeah, that makes so much sense. Or what the fuck is that guy talking about? And then get right back to him. Like, what the fuck are you talking about? Yes. Yeah. So it's kind of fun. Nice. Uh, it was a little glitchy. Oh. Yeah. Well, damn it. So, you potentially really no work. Apple Watch. I know, I sold the shit out of that, didn't I? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, boxer people. Uh, so, no Apple Watch, obviously. You don't have an iPhone. Right. Would you think about ever getting, like, a Samsung Gear thing? or If someone gave it to me, I don't think I would go out and spend my money on it. I get that. It. I'm trying. But then someone would give it to me, and I'd be like, I can't live right. without yeah, this. Yeah, we'll see yeah. what happened with my friend Meg. Uh, I'm just sort of in that mode where I'm trying. I was, like, so dead set against not getting one right. at launch. Because I was like, it's a watch, I gotta try it, and now I'm sort of falling onto that whole thing of like, the, you know, it's the FOMO, it's the fear of missing out. Like, I feel like yeah. all my buddies are gonna be like, dude, it's so great, and I'm gonna be like, I, know, I was I'll gonna sh- get one. And- Just do me a favor, don't get a $17,000 one. I can give you a promise on my the life of my just get everything. the $700 one which is still crazy not to me do it. I'm not gonna do that I'll get the lowest end one isn't that the get. low end one no you can get one for like 350 360 got it like sad that. that that sounds cheap but it shouldn't I know, be right yeah like, you give know, me one for 75 bucks yeah. Yeah. yeah this fear of missing out thing that you're talking yes. about Alex you don't need to fit in with your friends they need to fit in with you oh <laughs> So I gotta, I gotta, so wise, I gotta, Mom. I gotta shun them for having the watch, exactly. and force them to want to get rid of the watch. It's and then like I me can refusing to allow my text messages to show up green or to show up blue. I wish there was a, there pretty, should be a way that you could yeah, actually like set that so that even right. when you get iMessage, you could still send it as green. Right. Just to be like, <laughs> I like green. Green means me. Oh Lord! Well, that was it. That's all I got. Uh, we did it. The stuff. Episode number one. Yeah. How long? What was that? Was that like a half hour, twenty 43 minutes? Forty-three and counting. Forty-three and counting. All right, half hour, happy hour. Mm-hmm. We're a little. Well, yeah, we'll, you know, we'll shave some that's stuff fine. out. That's not. True. We didn't no. drink too I'm much, as much that. as I would have liked. Well, that's the problem. Personally. The half hour, happy hour. It's like one beer. Yeah, but I've had this one glass of wine, and I feel it. 
Really? Oh, you are. Well, it's also hot <laughs> as fuck in here. It right is now. super hot. I think next episode <laughs> we have to figure AC. out how to temperature control this yeah, place. Yeah, I have, I have an AC. Uh, it's just not. It's not working. Yeah. Um, so yeah. So that was. This is episode one. We're super excited. We're gonna try to do this once a week and see see what what happens. Yeah. Ooh. Did you have fun? I had so much fun. Isn't it, Alex? I always have fun when I sit down see, and talk with you. It's so great. It's kind of amazing. That's what. That's what we do. It's that's like hats. what friends are for. I don't know why I said it was that. It was like hats. We like should hats. do. We should do. We should do that. We should end every episode with you singing a weird '70s song. That was In 70s, good right? Times or 80s? And bad times, I'll be on your side forevermore. Boom, boom. That's what friends are for. Love it. All right. Well, thank you for listening. I'm Alex Albrecht. <laughs> I'm Allison Hayslip. And that's Tom Krajewski. Thank you, Tom. Thanks, thank Tom. You. All right. We'll see you next week. This has been the Half Hour Woo! Happy Hour with Allison and Alex. Yeah. It recorded? <laughs>